Hey there friends, ATPC here. I'm doing a head-to-head -head, uh, fan versus air circulator comparison here. So on my right we have the Mainstays 9 inch high velocity fan and on my left here the Honeywell 7 inch turbo force high velocity air circulator. Yes indeed. So as far as which one's quieter? Let's see here. That's on low. And that's on low. Boy, I can't really tell the difference. It's very similar. Just kick it up a notch here. I'd say this one's quieter. This one makes kind of like a different noise there. Uh, let's do it on that turbo mode here. This one seems louder on high, but it also seems to be putting out a lot more air. Let's just see if it is putting out more air though. All right, so we'll put this like that. And we're putting this one right here, kind of aim them at each other and see which one is flowing. Well, who's winning here in the turbo mode? Or is there just kind of a. Let's see here. How is this going to work? So the air is uh, similar. Um, I'd say this is more like a uh, kind of a wider pattern. So if you have a flashlight without without a uh, adjustable beam that can narrow it, and this is more like a focused kind of shot of air here. It seems like so this is definitely. I think it's definitely putting out more air, but just in a brighter, a wider spectrum, a larger area. And more like a shotgun than like a sniper rifle type of air um, accuracy, I would guess I would say. So both of them are similarly quiet. Um, I say as far as the amount of air put out or output, they're basically the same. This one does seem to be putting out a lot. Not a lot more, but you know, it's noticeable, I guess I would say. So, in the uh, fan, as far as the air output, I'd have to give it to the 9 inch mainstay as fan. Okay, now, uh, quality of construction. So, on this one, we have a decent handle where you can really get your fingers on there and grip it. This one, I mean, it's that. It's a little wire welded on there. They could have done better, but it works. So we got, this one's pretty much all entirely made of plastic. And this one's almost entirely made out of metal. Um, let's see here. So on the bottom of this, it only has two little rubber um, grippers on the bottom. It looks like it could have four, but there's only two there. So as far as traction goes, I'd say that this one has the upper hand as well. Okay, so another point for the mainstays. Actually, what we're air power 
a little bit more here, a little bit quieter um, output air, a little bit more, a little bit less here, more focused air here, less targeted air here. Uh, grips on the bottom, this one gets the win also, mainstays. Um, the handle definitely goes to the Honeywell air circulator. All right, let's look for adjustability here. There's really no comparison here, my friends. Uh, this thing goes all the way around. I could just keep spinning it here. And this one does not rotate down. And that's all it goes is up in the air like that. So, mainstay is gets the uh, win for adjustableness. Uh, let's see for, for weight. Um, the handle's a little bit lighter. The uh, attributed to probably the plastic design or the plastic um, materials, and this thing is a little bit more hefty. Maybe the motor is a little bit more sizable. I see it has a metal fan blade as well. The cords are the same distance; they're approximately six feet long. Um, as far as looks go, I mean. Kind of got your pick here. This is kind of a more traditional look, I guess you would say. And this seems a little bit more, um, you know, new age, more modern look, I guess. So it's just kind of about your preference on that. Um, both decent fans. I think they were similarly priced around, around $15, I would say. So... Um, yeah, I think that's about it for this uh, Mainstays and Honeywell fan comparison. I'm sorry, not a fan. Air circulator. So thanks for watching, my friends, and stay cool out there during the summer.